you hold my hand, look me in the eyes. You and me, yeah, that's all I need, and I'll be alright. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. headaches and then the past two nights I've barely been able to sleep because my nose is stuffy again and like it's not necessarily my throat that burns it's like the roof the back of the roof of my mouth like burns I just want to go back to normal write the title in this box Okay, so I have to do your sister's hair, bud. Icky. We gotta Icky. go. Icky. <laughs> Jace made it a full night last night without the PACI. I don't really want to risk saying it right now. I kind of like hit it. I thought he found it, but I guess he didn't um, last night. So he basically went the full day and like all last night. I said I was going to start cutting it out during the day about a week ago. Actually, a week ago exactly today. Today was the day that I took it during the day. And he's been doing good about it. Like, he doesn't have it in the car. He doesn't have it during the day. Sometimes if we go upstairs in the afternoon for me to do something, he might find it up there. And then he has it for like a few minutes. But for the most part, he's completely weaned off of it during the day. And then... Last night, he went the whole night without it. He, it did take him a minute to fall asleep. Like he was kind of fussy and didn't really want to fall asleep. So it took him a while to finally fall asleep. And then he was kind of like, he was kind of like restless the whole night. But. D O G D O G. a mess this morning but I gotta wash it today oh no bud chocolate syrup. Too messy. It gets all sticky. And like when you're pouring it, it doesn't want to, you know, stop pouring. So then it just gets all over the lid. So I want to get a pump for the chocolate. 
every night I talk myself into doing the walk and then every morning I talk myself out of doing the walk. Want me to walk? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm trying to go potty. Then go potty now. Okay, I'll go potty now. got this power school thing figured out so that I can look at London's grades. And messages the teacher said she had three, all threes and fours. And I wasn't able to get it. But this says she has all fours. She has a 99 in language arts, a 104 in math. Science doesn't show anything. A 98 in social studies and a 100 in health. Art, music, and PE doesn't really show anything. Neither does Spanish. How did you get a, a 200%? And one of these things, she scored an 18 out of 9 for 200%. You get what you get and you don't throw cat. <laughs> you, get what you, you get what you get and you don't buy a cat. <laughs> hey, Austin. You get what you get and you don't throw fit. You get what you get and you don't throw dog in a cat. Hi, I'm picking up mobile food. order PQ58. PQ. Summer? Yeah. Sandra? Sandra? You had a four piece nugget half a No. no. The basket of fries? It's not my eyebrow. No, it was a ten piece and two six piece meals. Well, my thing says PQ58 and it has. My uh, ten piece uh, and everything. Don't, uh, you don't have any yeah, other. Nothing. You don't have any other mobile orders. I want milk. You have two orders. No, I had one. No, I only have one. Okay, I see yours. Yeah. There's another pro right there. Titi. You good? All right. Thank you. I only had one order. Uh, it was a 10 piece and two Happy Meals. Thank you. Yay! No, I had um, I had the 10 piece and um, it was two six pieces. Dude, that yeah. Let me get my drinks. Those aren't my drinks. <laughs> I had a, a tea, the two chocolate milks, and a McFlurry. Oh, God. She's doing it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I just get it ready. Thank you. Get her. <laughs> a large. Thank you. Oh, thank you. They're probably irritated with me about that bullcrap. Whatever the heck. Whatever the heck was going on. I don't know what that was. I made my order. I told them the right code. And for whatever reason, I don't know what happened. Like the app gave two people the same code number or what. But apparently like that my code number was pulling up someone else's order. And they kept getting it confused. Like literally every step of the way, they're getting it confused with the other order. I don't know why. You want to open our teeth for us? No, right this way. Okay. okay. Ah. I got mine. Where's my plate? You're just gonna have to wait on that. We're running a few minutes behind because for some reason, <laughs> traffic was absolutely terrible today. It was so bad. I went to take my exit and waited in traffic in the exit lane 
only to realize that the lane was blocked off. For some reason, they have firefighters. They have like a fire truck blocking off the entire exit. So I had to get back on, like out of the exit lane, I'm back onto the highway, and I had to go five miles down the highway to the next exit to get off the highway, get right back on the highway, and then go the five miles back to where I needed to be to get off of the, that exit, the highway, to come here. It was ridiculous. I don't know what they got going on, but they had um, two fire trucks blocking off like the ramps for some reason. Like they were blocking, completely blocking off the, I don't know if it was just the exit ramp or if it was the exit and the entrance ramp right there. I don't know what they were doing. Like, there wasn't, like, an accident or anything. Like, they literally just had fire trucks blocking it off. Don't know why. And now, since I bought these little mini trash bags and I got time sitting in here waiting on them in class, I'm going to try and clean this car out because it's getting bad. Because, you know, we've been having to pick up dinner a lot for, like, these late nights where we have, like, um, sports and stuff. So, they got a bunch of food trash back there. It's getting bad, so I need to clean the car out again huh yeah you throw food all over the place too it's like I don't really want them to eat dinner in the car on these nights but it's like it's too early for them to eat dinner beforehand and then it's too late for them to eat dinner after because we need to get home get baths done and get in bed they end up eating a lot of it in the car and it's a mess don't be stealing all my drink. Don't be stealing all my drink. <laughs> Ball. No, the ball's not. The ball's not trash, and you just threw it into my McFlurry. What's with these new McFlurry containers? Do you know how many Happy Meal boxes are in my car right now? Ridiculous. I'm gonna try and get back here. Yeah, you're getting in my wallet. Shoes all up in here. It's a mess. It's a mess. like all my blood went in my head. I made a big oopsie today. Why? Apparently my brain just stopped working or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll I don't, I literally do not know what I was thinking. I have no clue what I was thinking. 
The girls are supposed to have dance Wednesday nights at 5.30. And for some reason, I planned today around bringing them at 6.30. And I thought nothing of it. I literally had no clue what was going on. I literally did not think anything of what I did today. We left the house at like 5.20. We stopped and got food. We got here at like 6.30 and I was like, we're running late. Rushed them in there, dropped them off, walked out. Didn't even like pay attention that those prob like none of those kids would have been familiar to me. Walked out, been sitting in the car. It's now 7.04. I'm thinking they'd be finished at like 7.15 because the classes are 45 minutes. And like I see the, st the teachers standing at the door for a long time and I see these other kids coming out and I'm like, what other class is this? Like, even watching this going on, I'm like confused, but I'm like making zero connection that I messed up. And then the teacher comes out and I see London pop her head out and I'm like, did they let out early? Like, did, like what's going on? So I get out the car and walk up there and she's like, um, they were supposed to be here at 5.30. And I was like, oh my god, you're right, they were supposed to be here at 5.30. I was like, I have no idea what I was thinking. I think that because she just started t-ball, and t-ball's Mondays at 6, somehow numbers got jumbled up in my brain, and for some reason, instead of 5.30 for dance, my brain told me 6.30 today, and I just went with it, didn't, didn't ever second guess it, and I was wrong. I messed up. Yeah, I'm like, I'm so confused with how I did that today. Like when I planned my day out last night and all my times and when I've been doing stuff all day and getting ready all day, I should have known that something felt off. Like we should have left the house at 4.30, not 5.30. And maybe that's why traffic was even worse and like, why did I do that? I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> she was like, that class, like that was the toddler class. They're in advanced tap and ballet. That was like the basic tap and ballet. And she was like, yeah, they were too advanced for this class. They, they could do way more than that. I was like, yeah, that, like I totally just messed up today. Like I just spaced and scheduled my day all wrong for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So now our day is like an hour off. Our whole evening is like an hour off at this point. Did y'all dance? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so like confused with myself right now. I don't know how the hell I did that. Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love.